and welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, Psalm 65. Praise awaits you, O God, in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. When we live for Jesus, it is our greatest honor to fulfill our vows and to praise Him, not necessarily with words, but with our actions, to praise Him in all that we do so that people, when they look at us, see the glory of God. O oh, you who hear prayer, to you all men will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. That's justification. That's what justification is all about. There's nothing we can do about our past sins. But God will take care of them. He will forgive if we will then walk in the righteousness of Christ, living His perfect, holy, sinless life. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. God wants to give us so much of his goodness. But in order for him to bless us in such a way, we have to be worthy of it. You answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness, O God, our Savior. God is our Savior in both the Old and New Testament. God has never changed. He has always been our Savior. The hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your prayer, having armed yourself with strength, you stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the nations. As it says here, He is the hope of all the earth. He is not the God of just the Jews or the Israelites. God is the God of the world, every single person. He created Adam and Eve, who were the father and mother of the entire human race. It is up to us to become members of His family. We can be adopted in if we will just be obedient to the rules of His family. In verse 7, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the nations. You remember in the New Testament, the disciples were on the lake, and the storm came up. Twice, Jesus stilled the storm. He'll still the storm in our lives and among the nations if we will just give our lives to him. Those living far away fear your wonders. Where morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth songs of praise. Where morning dawns and evening fades, it's the same as saying at the ends of the earth, from the east to the west, everyone calls forth the songs of praise. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. You drenched its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with bounty, and your carts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the desert overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. The reason the world is going through so much turmoil as far as nature goes, with the droughts, with the hurricanes, the forces that are destructive, and the fires, and earthquakes, you name it, it is because man has taken the glory from God has taken the praise from God and given it to Mother Nature or evolution or science. 
So God said, all right, if you don't love what I do, I'll take my blessings and leave. But I'll be here waiting for you when you realize that I'm the one who provides. And when you come back and humble yourself and accept me as your God, then I can provide. The world is only going to get worse until man realizes that only God can solve our problems and provide. Science won't do it. Today, look around and see all the blessings and praises that God offers us. Let's accept them and praise Him. Thank you for being with me and Jesus Christ Prison Ministry for another video Bible study.